Hello and welcome to Absolute Classics. It gives me the great pleasure to welcome to perform for us the incredible tenor Ben Johnson and pianist Martin James Bartlett. Don't forget to like, subscribe and comment on our videos and if you feel able to do so then please do make a donation in lieu of a concert ticket. Without further ado, sit back, relax and enjoy the concert. If I build a world for you, dear, if I build a world for you, I would make the land of popcorn and the sea of morning dew. I would make the breeze of whispers of lovers as they woo, and the rose should live forever in the world I built for you. If I built a world for you, just a world for me and you Then the stars should all be kisses And the sky forever blue And every road and rutway With rose leaves I would strew And love should last forever in the world I built for you. If I built a world for Thank you. 
pour la félicité des cieux. With his lute made trees and the mountain tops that freeze bow themselves when he did sing to his music plants and flowers ever sprung as so Oh. 
rising sun to soon drink up the dew. I thought I heard you singing all the long day through, all the long day through. I call echoes clear and I must part from all that is so dear I shall not fear the valley that before me lies if I may hear you singing as I close my eyes as I close Wake up my 
your prison bars. Love waits for you. Love waits for you. And reach the stars. Soleil noir 
little village remote and obscure, a beautiful maiden resided. As to whether or not her intentions were pure, opinions were sharply divided. She loved to lie out neath the darkening sky and allow the soft breeze to entrance her. She whispered her dreams to the birds flying by, but seldom received any answer. Over the hill and along the lane, gentle Alice would love to stray. When it came to the end of the day, she would wander away unheeding. Dreaming her innocent dreams, she strode, quite unaffected by heat or cold, frequently freckled or soaked with rain. Alice was out in the lane. She met there every day. There was a question answered by none. But she'd get there and she'd stay there till whatever she did was undoubtedly done. Over the hills and along the lane, both her parents would call in vain. Sadly, sorrowfully, they'd complain. Alice is at it again. Though that dear little village surrounded by trees had neither a school nor a college, gentle Alice acquired from the birds and the bees some exceedingly practical knowledge. The curious secrets that nature revealed she refused to allow to upset her. But she thought when observing the beasts of the field that things might have been organized better. Over the hill and along the lane, gentle Alice would make up and take up her stand. The road was not exactly arterial, but it led to a town nearby, where quite a lot of masculine material caught her roving eye. She was ready to hitchhike, Cadillac or motorbike, she wasn't proud or choosy. All she was waiting to be was a print up me top fly when I close When old Rogers gave her pose as large as nuts on a chestnut tree, all she say was fiddly dee, the weight of sin will be the death of me. Over the hill and along the lane, gentle Alice's parents would stand hand in hand. Her dear old white-headed mother, wistfully sipping champagne, said, 
We've spoiled our child, spared the rod, open up the caviar and say, thank God, we've got no cause to complain.